What's going on everybody? Mattitude22 here today with another figure review. Today we are looking at the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Invisible Woman. I think it's like it's Walgreens if you live in America, but I live in Canada and uh, I got this at EB Games. Now definitely when I picked this figure up, man, I had a choice between I had a choice between two and uh there was one with really, really bad paint apps, and there was this one with kind of bad paint apps, and messed up ankles. Look at that. They, they're just they're just stuck like that. They, they are just stuck like that. Like, I knew that when I saw it. I saw it in the package, but again, I felt like that would be easier to fix. Just get some hot water going. You know how it is. Easier to fix that. The paint apps. Not as much I could do about that. But there is still a couple issues here. Like on her belt. Can you see that? A little hard to see. But uh, some of the black paint is chipped. And yeah, I know that's really hard to see. But you can see some of the blue is coming through. Because some of the, the black paint on the belt is starting to chip off. And... On the back, it's a little better. Not too many issues, but... And eh, what are you going to do? And You know, when, you, when you're dealing with uh, a figure that's, for the most part, it's solid one color, like it's 90% blue, you're going to have those little issues. It's always a bummer. But I did pick the one with the slightly... with the more better paint apps and the messed up ankles. Uh... We'll see how that goes. She does have this translucent arm. I do I do like this. <clears throat> I just wish that uh, perhaps they would have given us a regular arm. Like they gave us a translucent hand for over here. And like that's fine. But I can't help but wish we would have got a trans... Uh, sorry guys. A regular arm for here just so... Uh, when she's standing on your shelf, looking all badass. You don't have to have her with the one translucent arm, but whatever, man. At this point, I'm just starting to get nitpicky. Face does look very good, very attractive. Sue Storm, I like the color on the hair. It's like a nice darker blonde. I'm glad they didn't go with... Uh, like I think, if I recall, I think Emma Frost had pretty... Had a substantially brighter blonde. I think the the more like darker, the dirty blonde kind of works better for her. I like that look. Suits her. I like the color of the suit. It's kind of an off blue, like a almost like venturing into a turquoise. It looks nice. The four logo. You see that is a little blurry, but the four logo is painted fairly well. So uh, everything and everything in that regards, I like the rest of the paint. There's no, there's no uh, other parts like the boots. The boots are not a separate part. They're just they painted her feet black, but they look okay. And same with the glove. It's just painted black. But again, aside from that one little area and the little bit on the back, it, the paint is pretty good. The paint apps are pretty good. I like that. The ankles are definitely a problem, but. Looking at her articulation, you get side to side on the head, full range of motion there, no up, and you get a good amount down, so down is decent, like as far as you would want her to look down. She does not have the ab crunch or the waist twist, but she does have this diaphragm joint, and that moves forward and back and side to side. Your ball disc pegs for the shoulders little stiff but you can get that up pretty far and pretty far forward pretty far back <sighs> single jointed elbows come on Hasbro give us double jointed elbows for the ladies come on just just do it just do it wrist hinge works good wrist rotation pretty much same on this hand same with the translucent arm single jointed elbow for your hips, you got your ball peg hips, upper leg rotation. 
double jointed knee and you get a pretty good range of motion on that so that is nice and uh, the, the ankles I, I don't know like the ankles should move side to side and they should move forward and back well I guess when they're messed up you get still forward and back can't really get them to uh, move side to side this one is definitely uh, due for a hot water bath for the ankles but all in all I do think you should pick this figure up it is pretty nice you get this nice little Herbie the robot accessory not not a lot to talk about there but uh, the paint does all look pretty nice on this guy and his head rotates around so that looks okay you get this little display stand for him to just kind of pegs into with not well not much effort but of course it's because I'm filming it's gonna give me okay because I'm filming it's gonna give me a hard time but it does look pretty nice and uh, this is a pretty nice figure so definitely if you could find it Walgreens in America you guys you guys know that if you're in Canada check for it at EB games and EB games I guess and uh, with that being said thank you guys again for watching please like this video share leave a comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time peace